outside now. Moment of truth. Oi! <laughs> That's sick, man. Guys, welcome back to a new video and welcome back to a very orange jumper and a very dirty Audi TT. Now, this week's video, before we start, already I mention it every single video, but that button below which says subscribe, if it doesn't say subscribed, one, what are you doing? And two, go and click it now. Because today, we're, it's, just, it's quite a strange one actually. I mean, uh, guys, obviously you've seen the subscribers are building up now and you're seeing the views are building up now, but we still, we only have, I think at the minute we've got like 1.6 thousand subscribers, so respect to every single one of you. But now, this company, Carly Connect Car, have contacted me in my emails. They've seen that we work mainly, well, I work mainly on VAG cars, so it's mainly Audi, mainly Mercedes, mainly BMW. So they think that this little device that they're giving me today is gonna to help me out a lot. And hopefully the guys viewing it and you guys viewing it at home, obviously you're interested in VAG cars as well because you watch these videos and hopefully I can help you out as well with this tiny little device called Carly Connect Car. Now this little device, it connects into your OBD2, sen OBD2 port in your car, which pretty much every car has. You plug in there and you can connect it to your phone via Bluetooth. Now apparently you can unlock a lot of features on the Audi TT as well as diagnose and remove engine lights and just find out exactly what's going on wrong with your car or maybe you want to unlock some new features. Now I'm hoping that this can do a lot of cool things to this Audi TT. Now the one thing that I do have in mind, if you remember in the old videos, when I fitted this spoiler, if you've not seen it, top right hand corner, when I fitted this spoiler, I actually had to remove the mechanical spoiler, which has caused a light to come up on the dashboard, which I'll show you in a minute, which I assumed I need a VAGCOM for. Now, if this thing can remove that light, then that is gonna be brilliant. I've not tested it out yet. I've downloaded the app, but I've not even connected it to the car or anything yet. So this is gonna be my first sort of experience with the Carly Connect Car app. So let's get in the car and let's connect it up. So I've not really, I've not really read through the instructions on how to use this and I don't have them because I was going to do this on the drive but I think the neighbours are sort of clocking that I, I do videos outside and it's probably quite funny for them to see me walking outside. I probably look like a right weirdo walking outside with a camera filming this car. Keep that strange guys outside filming his hairdresser car again. It's probably not the best um, or so most sensible thing for me to do this away from a house on a country road somewhere because if this does mess up the car somehow, which I doubt it will, but if it does mess up the car, then I'm stranded here. I've got no instructions either, so I'm assuming this is gonna be easy to use, hopefully. So, so guys, um, I'm about to use it. Obviously, Kevin's witnessing all of this, so you're sort of the second opinion. You, know, you get to see, uh, what do you think, Kev? What do you think of this so far? Looks great, yeah? The one thing, let me show you the faults I'm getting at the minute. So when I turn the ignition, first thing I've got is service, which I was going to, I know I had to cancel that off anyway. I've got fuel and I've got a rear um, indicator bulb off, which is uh, slightly annoying because um, if you remember from when we first started doing the TT and when I first started back, actually putting it back together, on the rear right hand side, we had a problem with the grounding wire, um, which we managed to fix. Now it looks like we're having the problem with the left hand side. Uh, ground wire on the rear lights because it's showing me that I've got a rear indicator out and um, sort of making that horrible uh, clicking noise and the indicator's going like that but if you go on to the outside you can see that the rear indicator is actually working fine and at a normal rate so there's probably something wrong with the ground there right let's go on to using this app then yeah so guys, the first thing you need to do, I mean, you don't have to have one of these. You can have a, you can have another sort of Bluetooth OBD um, thing to plug in, but Carly do recommend that you get their actual one to go with the app. Obviously, then you're gonna get no problems at all. So yeah, the first thing you can do is download the Carly uh, VAG app. Um, so I'm gonna click into that. Okay, so this is all the features we've got. So. The dog has just decided to chew his thing, nice. So these are all the um, sort of functions we've got. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug this into the OBD port and then we're going to connect it up and we can see what we can do and what we can and can't do with this. So in the TT, the OBD port is right under here. 
you can see that little purple thing right there so okay so we're in and uh, looks like we've got a little red light going on there so I think is we turn the ignition on but we don't actually turn the car on all the way obviously I've got my normal lights coming on a standard and a beeping telling me to refuel and that weird indicator that's going wrong now we do have um, that that's the light that I'm hoping this thing can get rid of that spoiler light because that's just on all the time because I removed the fixed spoiler let's see if the app can do that so we're connected um, so let's go for the let's click diagnostics first we're just going to go through it eight volts are you mad 18 volts 19 volts nothing wrong with it recirculation valve airbag crash sensor side airbag driver side that also probably makes sense an airbag didn't go off obviously it's been in a crash that that's quite interesting actually because uh so we've got a crash sensor side on the driver's side airbag and obviously uh hannah crashed well when hannah was driving the car was crashed into um if you not saw the video top right hand corner this car's actually been crashed before so that is actually pretty interesting so if you're going to look at a car um a used car maybe maybe you could bring this sort of thing with you and uh, you could see if any of the airbags have been deployed or any of the crash sensors have been um, activated because it looks like here that one has been activated so that's pretty in interesting if we go into coding continue to coding let's see what this let's see what this goes cleaning coming home daytime running lights headlights headlight cleaning high beam please select an ECU to check the communication quality so let's click on this so that it's actually now backing up what's already on there um, just so you can revert it back to standard if you did want to at any time so backup successful so ah, now let's see what we've got here so what we have got loads of stuff right now so Oh, so we've got daytime running light front fogs as well. So we can have the fog lights on all the time. Um, should we do that? Let's do. Let's just send it. I mean, we can always change it back. Let's put them on all the time. Coming home lights. So coming home lights. Also, follow me home lights. Coming home lights. That's pretty cool. I think is that when you press it. Let's come up. Let's turn them on as well. Welcome lights. So. Welcome lights, also known as leaving home lights. So I assume that's when you press the unlock key, the lights will turn on. That is a pretty cool, I'm having that on. So that I'm pretty happy with the lights on that. So let's code car. Please read this carefully. Okay, I've read that, okay. So let's check the light. Yeah, so now the fog lights are on as daytime running lights as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's something I'll keep, that's just something I'll just try to see if it works. But obviously it does work, let's go see what else we can do. So guys, as well, check this out. So now, this never used to do this before, I probably should have thrown it before, but now I press the unlock key, my headlights come on, that is a bad boy. That is sick, never used to do that, I used to do that on my Merc, and never did before, so when I press lock, and, it, and, the, uh, and they go off. So, that is pretty sick, I like that, unlock headlights are on I, I love that so i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna keep that oh let's go for uh, this is comfort one here let's go to that one now audible confirmation for unlocking that's off so i'm, I'm assuming you get a little beep when you uh, click it that's off let's turn that on so guys there is going to be a link in the description to take you directly to the page where you can buy these little diagnostic things from and um, all the unlocking and everything for VAG cars. Now it is specifically for VAG cars, so if you've got a French car or something like that, then this won't work for it. But if you've got BMW, Mercedes or Audi, then this is gonna be brilliant for your car. You can unlock stuff and it's also probably gonna save you money as well. And actually, you could probably make money through this. It works on Android and it works on iPhone as well which is very rare and it seems some of these things they have problems with um, using them with iPhones but with this one it works with iPhone or or an Android phone as well so you have no problems with that at all but if you are interested my link is in the description go and click that and you can see exactly what it is you see all the instructions and all the things that I haven't read let's go check let's go see if that works now moment of truth oh <laughs> that's sick man so lock 
Beep. Unlock. Oh, two beeps. Two, so it's two beeps for unlock. One beep for lock. That is going to be sick when I'm sitting in the bedroom at home and I'm like, oh, did I lock the car? I locked it. Obviously, my service reminder is popping up on the dash, so let's um, let's just reset this because it does do me head in. And I've found, like, in the faults, um, so... I've got bulb flashing for rear light, which is um, obviously right, but the bulb's working. I have found in other, the control for the control circuit for the rear spoiler, but I'm not sure if I can clear it. I don't know why. I don't really know what I'm doing. I should have read the instructions, but I'm going to start to clear. So my rear spoiler, let's hope that this goes off. Is this finished? Okay. Please turn your engine off and on again. Okay, I will do. He's out. Turn it back on. Turn it on. Oh. So it couldn't do it. My bulb light is gone though. My bulb light's gone, but my spoiler light is still there. Oh. Look, and it's still showing a fault up there for the spoiler light. The bulb is solved though, the bulb's gone, the bulb light and the indicator is not flashing, it's flashing as normal though. That's that's one thing fixed, it's just that spoiler, I wanted that, really wanted that light to go off and I just don't think it's going to manage it. I mean it's done everything else, I give it a massive thumbs up for that but quite disappointingly it was a big ask to get that spoiler light to come off, it hasn't managed to do it. Um, I am going to try one more time but... The only fault I've got now is refuel. I mean, if it can fill my tank up, that would be great, but that's also a big ask as well. So guys, we've done a bunch of stuff to the um, Audi at the minute. Obviously, I've just got out of the car and the lights are still on, so I will be able to find my way to the front door later tonight. So this, my Carly Connect, this Carly Connect car, um, alongside the app, can unlock, obviously, a bunch of different things and diagnose your cars. And obviously, I've went through the video and explained a few different things that it can do to my Audi TT. And this will work in a lot of different other VAG cars, pretty much every single VAG, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, you name it, this thing will work in it. And, and obviously, the, probably the newer the car, the more things it can unlock. So it's probably well worth a buy, and it's not expensive at all. And obviously, I've said before in the video, there's a link in the description description uh, where you can get these from and now if you click on my link it will actually help me out as well hopefully I've not bored you with this video because it's quite was quite technical but that's going to be the end of this video I'm now about to go home and film the second video which will be tomorrow's video guys thanks for watching make sure you click subscribe peace out